നമസ്കാരം ഇന്നത്തെ ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂവിൽ ഇന്ന് ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂ സീരീസ് ആയിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇന്ന് ശരിക്കും പറഞ്ഞാൽ പോഡ്കാസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂ ആണ് നമ്മുടെ അപ്പോൾ ഇന്നത്തെ ഇതിന് വളരെ പ്രത്യേകത നമ്മൾ ഒത്തിരി വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യമാണ് ടാറ്റ തിക്കൽ ഫണ്ട് എന്താണെന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കുക എന്നുള്ളത് ടാറ്റ തിക്കൽ ഫണ്ട് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ കാര്യത്തിനെ കുറിച്ച് ഞാൻ ഒത്തിരി വീഡിയോസ് ഞാൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് പക്ഷേ ഇന്ന് ഉള്ള സർപ്രൈസ് എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ നമ്മുടെ ഫണ്ട് മാനേജർ നമ്മുടെ ഒപ്പം ഉണ്ട് ടാറ്റ എത്തിക്കൽ ഫണ്ട് മാനേജ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഫണ്ട് മാനേജർ അഭിനവ് ശർമ്മ ടാറ്റ ടാറ്റ മ്യൂച്വൽ ഫണ്ടിൻ്റെ ഫണ്ട് മാനേജറാണ് ഇദ്ദേഹം നമ്മളോട് ഒപ്പം ഉണ്ട് നമുക്ക് എന്താണ് ടാറ്റ എത്തിക്കൽ ഫണ്ട് എന്ന് അദ്ദേഹത്തിന് ഇന്ന് തന്നെ കേൾക്കാം ഓ സാർ നൗ ഐ മൂവ് ഓൺ ടു ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ആൻഡ് വിൽ സ്പീക്ക് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസ് അബൌട്ട് ദിസ് വൺ സോ ടുഡേ അവർ ഇൻറ്റൻഷൻ ഓഫ് യുനോ ഇൻവൈറ്റിംഗ് യു ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ടു ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ടാറ്റ എത്തിക്കൽ ഫണ്ട് ഇൻ ദ സെയിം ടൈം യു ആർ മാനേജിംഗ് ഫോർ ടാറ്റ ലാർജ് ക്യാപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻഫ്രാ ഇൻഫ്രാ ഫണ്ട് along with uh, Tata Ethical Fund. So we will talk about uh, that also. And uh, talking about uh, Abhinav Sharma, uh, he is uh, uh, studied from IIT and uh, IAM and 16 plus years of experience in fund management. And uh, I'm, I'm sure that uh, uh, his knowledge uh, will uh, enhance all of our audience. And at the same time, I'm looking uh, uh, him as a master and I'm sitting here as a student to learn. how he manages fund and uh, see that uh, how our uh, audience and how our uh, uh, you know uh, people around this people who are watching can benefit out of uh, his conversation ar- around uh, uh, these three funds large cap uh, infra-, infra fund and especially uh, tata ethical fund so welcome sir and thank you so much uh, for taking time out i know that you yesterday midnight only you came and today morning itself you on a rainy day you uh, ready to come to uh, the studio and uh, do this uh, podcast thank you so much welcome yeah thank you thank you for <laughs> having me on yeah, your show yeah sir sir uh, very nice thank you sir uh, we can we can uh, start talking about um, your experience about uh, tata ethical fund before that if you can talk about a bit about yourself as an intro uh, so that will help all of us to uh, understand you as a person yeah so you know you already said that uh, i have uh, done my graduation from iit and then i am uh, after that i have started in the equity markets and now it's been close to 18 years uh-huh. i have been in equity markets okay okay so i have worked as an analyst and now here at tata i have been for around 9 years yeah and 9 years i have been working as an analyst and then moved on to manage managing funds okay so as you said like i am managing three funds here uh, tata large cap tata ethical and tata infrastructure fund okay okay thank you thank you so sir is managing uh, more than 6000 to 7000 crore uh, aum and uh, that's a uh, you know really uh, great uh, your presence in kerala itself thank you sir thank you thank you so much <laughs> okay so sir uh, in your definition what is mutual fund means in a 30 seconds if you ask if you tell that uh, to your younger one or someone who is very old who do not know about mutual fund what will you explain to them you know it's a very basic question and uh, see i can go into definition of mutual funds and everything but i'll not go into that i would say it's a very simple way for an indian citizen or any citizen in fact to participate in india's growth story okay and to participate in indian stock markets and uh, it's a highly regulated yeah uh, regulated way to do it mm. and i think it's in my opinion it's the best way and the simplest way that any any individual can participate in the growth story which is india okay and uh, it has proven over a period of time right uh, that uh, the returns from mutual funds have been very good okay and uh, it's it's in my opinion everybody should do it okay okay thank you thank you sir okay so we'll we'll move specifically to uh, uh, um, uh, uh, your funds but uh, the the uh, the the intention of uh, doing interviews with uh, fund managers now is that uh, we have a different set of uh, categories what sebi has mandated for uh, mutual fund because these days mutual fund is a very common for everyone and everyone is like to participate in mutual fund but the point is that there are a lot of people think that all mutual funds are safe and we just go around and see that which one has given more return and i will park that money there and there are a uh, lot of difference in mutual fund if you look at it you have equity fund debt fund hybrid fund you have a passive fund you have international fund and under equity fund we have a other a different type of fund starting from large cap to uh, thematical fund and everything and which you manage so uh, 
what is uh, uh, you know according to you that uh, uh, if i if i ask you to define uh, tata ethical fund as a specific uh, fund how do you define tata ethical fund yeah certainly so so tata ethical fund it comes in a category of uh, thematic funds uh, so it's a solution oriented fund uh, specifically designed for investors who are looking into a sharia compliant investment avenue in the indian equity markets okay okay right. so there are uh, there are certain set of investors who may look at uh, who may not have been able to invest hmm. in equity markets because uh, it's not sharia compliant okay but okay. Uh, this mutual fund or hmm. this scheme uh, gives them an avenue to okay. invest in a sharia compliant manner okay. and participate as i earlier said in the indian growth story okay okay good sir uh, can you just uh, elaborate that uh, what is sharia and uh, what is uh, sharia parameters that will help uh, audience to mm. understand or digest uh, yeah. better you know so i am not really an expert into what is sharia but uh, what i can say is that uh, uh, at tata mf tata mutual fund uh, and specifically for the ethical fund uh, we have uh, our third party advisors mm-hmm. uh, who have uh, who give us advice on uh, Uh, what exactly is or which stocks are compliant with the sharia principles and uh, to put it very briefly like there are certain sectors uh, which we do not invest in uh, for example banking and financials where interest and risk uh, is uh, is a major uh, revenue right uh, so and also certain uh, food uh, mm-hmm. industries for example uh, or kind some of, of yes and also for example leisure Mm. Uh, so uh, all that is actually given to us by our advisors mm-hmm. and uh, it the advisors are stasis uh, mm. which is t a s i s and uh, they have a very eminent uh, sharia scholars on their board mm-hmm. and uh, every month they give us a list of stocks mm-hmm. uh, which are sharia compliant according to them mm-hmm. and uh, we are then investing from that uh, list of stocks okay, okay so that is kind of our universe of stocks in mm-hmm. which we uh, in which we invest and uh, at every 6 months they also give us a certificate okay, uh, okay. that the fund is sharia compliant mm-hmm. and uh, they have got their own uh, own uh, own let's say ways to define uh, whether a stock or a security is sharia compliant or not and there are a lot of parameters mm-hmm. one as i said is on the basis of business, business yeah. uh, then also there are certain financial uh, parameters that uh, uh, like there should not be too much debt on the balance sheet and many others okay so uh, as far as i know uh, uh, it is one of the very few uh, products in indian equity mutual funds uh, which follows these kind of principles and uh, as a fund manager my job is to manage once i get that uh, list. list of stocks okay and give uh, returns to the best of our ability yeah. okay 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 so now uh, talking about the tata ethical fund as such uh, we have a a uh, lot of uh, takers now and uh, if you look at uh, tata ethical fund it started in 1996 yeah. and uh, now uh, we have an aum of about uh, 2400 yes. uh, 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 crore and uh, looking at uh, the population of people who are uh, following sharia principles in india and the aum is very less yeah. and uh, what is that uh thing stopping or why the fund flow is uh, uh, very less if you uh, in in your opinion see i would rather not go into historical details why okay. it is less or why yeah. it is not less but uh, what you said is right that uh, the addressable market is very large mm-hmm. and uh, it is up to us people like me and you mm. to make it uh, Uh, to make it available uh, mm-hmm. to make the knowledge available uh, to people who are seeking uh, such kind of investments okay. and uh, i have been managing this fund for uh, uh, since september of 21 mm-hmm. and uh, in that period uh, the aum has become almost two and a half times mm-hmm. so while it may not have grown historically to the extent it could but i must say that uh, there it is gaining in popularity and it is okay. gain, and we are having a steady inflow okay, okay. Uh, in the funds nowadays yeah okay and now uh, and talking about the way you picking it so for example you you get a universe from uh, your your team who are certifying uh, it's a it's a sharia or industry then uh, what are the ways you identify that okay 
this fund has to come into my radar and this fund has to come from my radar to my selection of stocks mm-hmm. uh, if you can tell some parameters which you do and uh, how we can uh, ensure that uh, your your uh, quality of picking so if you can give some kind of a, a highlight that will mm-hmm. that will be great yeah you know see once we have got a universe then it's it's like any other uh, any other scheme any other mutual fund equity mutual fund scheme that where the fund managers will use his or her judgment mm-hmm. uh, in picking stocks and picking sectors so when we pick sectors or for example stocks we look at uh, uh, the company's quality uh, company's valuations mm-hmm. uh, where do you think uh, where do we think and you and we buy for the long term we are not in it for trading purpose so like when we buy a stock we think that we are never going to sell it so if okay. that is the approach then uh, we look at the long term prospects uh, how the company is likely to go over the next say 5 to 10 years mm-hmm. and also the historical track record if it is available okay and then we also try to diversify mm-hmm. uh, so it's not that uh, only uh, 10 or 15 or 20 stocks are there so for example today we have close to 60 stocks in our portfolio mm-hmm. and also in terms of sectors also it is quite diversified mm-hmm. so we have sectors like uh, information technology pharmaceuticals mm-hmm. uh, manufacturing okay. uh, various other sectors okay so the objective is to give uh, give returns consistently over a period of time okay and uh, beat the benchmarks yeah, okay so when we talk about uh, uh, any companies uh, and they will have a uh, different uh, debt ratios and everything on a quarterly basis it can change yeah. uh, depends on the company's requirement and they don't really look companies won't look specifically for sharia point of view they are running the business and there is a possibility that uh, these ratios can change in the list of uh, tasis is giving so how is your take you immediately take a, a exit call or in case if even if market is down uh, how, how is your strategy on that you know it's very simple uh, if if uh, the if our advisor say that the any particular uh, stock it now doesn't qualify into the sharia uh, sharia universe investment universe then we sell that stock within one month okay okay within one month we sell okay okay and and uh, any other you said that everything is a very long time and any criteria where you exit the stock uh, other than this tasis list see uh, usually uh, exit decision will be dependent on uh, if uh, the thesis or the investment reason which we had bought mm, okay. uh, it has not worked out mm-hmm. and or if it has worked out so well that now everything is getting priced in okay uh, so uh, either of these two reasons okay or there is some kind of uh, governance issue within the company uh, which we had not anticipated okay so can any of these reasons we can exit okay okay, uh, okay. so those are the reasons but typically we haven't really faced too many such issues so far mm-hmm. in my time of managing the fund okay okay that's it's good and i think uh, uh, one thing is that as a as a fund we have a uh, one clean thing is that the debt is a very less and almost debt free companies you are investing and uh, that is a, again another good thing and as a normal investors mm-hmm. uh, we have a tendency to invest and uh, we forget yeah. uh, for example if you are buying stock in dmat account but in in mutual fund there is a beauty of uh, monitoring from a expert team and uh, managing it that is another good thing and if you look at as an investor uh, as a clients who are investing in this fund uh, what should be their expectation about uh, this fund before investing according to you see i would not like to comment on returns mm. uh, what kind yeah. of returns i think the historical track record is there and i would say that uh, a similar kind of returns one can expect mm. over a period of time mm. and uh, anybody who is looking to invest should invest for the long term mm-hmm. uh, don't get into a habit of investing for say one year or two year and then take the money out mm-hmm. so look for the long term uh, returns will come and i think as i said it's a play on the indian growth story correct okay. so if if we have the belief that india is going to grow okay this fund will give you good returns okay okay and sir uh, this is uh, i'm not really asking about return as such but now when the market is uh, on a uh, good trend or mm-hmm. uh, giving good return definitely this fund is giving good return mm-hmm. and this time there are a lot of uh, participation come from a retail investors saying mm-hmm. that okay this is a good fund let me invest in this one mm-hmm. 
and uh, and they were not uh, for them long time means uh, uh, we don't know what is long time mm-hmm. so uh, how can you define that and uh, what is a kind of expectation they should have uh, to mm-hmm. come i'm just uh, trying to uh, you know dig again and ask this question just to set the expectation clearly you know it's what i will suggest like the way i bought, i said i buy stocks right mm. buy and try to never sell okay i think that should be the approach for mutual funds okay see it's like any other investment correct if i if i look at for example any investment see for example property mm. correct how many times do you see people like buying it for one or two years correct no no one and then then the wealth creates over a longer period of time and you need to give your mutual fund investments also time uh, and uh, really the power of compounding will work uh, once you give it time so i would say at least 5 years okay correct if you're looking for a number okay at least 5 years not less so when we talk about uh, investing in uh, uh, a sharia fund uh, tata tikil fund there is a confusion around people that uh, they want to invest for a longer period and one point of time they want to generate income out of it <laughs> and uh, most of the people had what uh, swp in uh, other youtube channels and everywhere also so what is your take on uh, i'm i know that it is not a possible thing but even then what is the danger of uh, taking uh, swp from uh, tata tikil fund kind of uh, investment see uh, any equity fund uh, the returns are never certain so if you do an swp uh, and then uh, uh, you will not be sure of the let's say the income which you can get right you, it's difficult to guarantee a certain income okay from an equity fund and it's not the right way not the right. better way is to maybe uh, maybe invest with a goal in mind okay uh, let's say you need certain amount of money for your retirement mm-hmm. and i'm sure financial advisors will help okay that how much you need to invest let's say every correct year. correct, correct. and then uh, if you are able to uh, hopefully reach that amount okay and that will probably help you better rather than go for an swp kind of an option uh, from from the fund itself yeah from okay. the fund itself <laughs> okay okay good so uh, th- thank you so much i think uh, we we covered uh, you know many things about uh, ethical fund as such what is your final take on um, people who are coming to invest in ethical fund <clears throat> so i think we covered most of it but uh, as a you know, we just to summarize like it's a, it's a one of the very few options to my mind uh, which is available in the markets today uh, for sharia as a sharia compliant investment option in indian equity markets mm-hmm. and uh, the returns are there the historical track record has been decent and uh, i would expect uh, or i would ask i would uh, request investors to take a look at this uh, at this uh, at this option okay and uh, rest assured in terms of uh, the fund management uh, okay and uh, more and more and more people come and uh, join uh, this fund uh, it's better and uh, yeah that's it i think it's a good solution to have okay okay good, and good. Uh, please do consider this fund yeah. thank you sir thank you i think this is a very valuable uh, session and uh, we are so grateful uh, for you to come uh, come down uh, to our studio and at the same time Uh, our audience will take a lot uh, especially when you spoke about uh, tata ethical fund uh, there are a lot of people spoke about but uh, from the fund manager hearing it's the first time in our uh, in our uh, channel and uh, uh, not only that i think uh, very less opportunity to uh, get uh, a person like you come in and uh, speak about it so really grateful and thank you so much for taking time out for us yeah thank you so much thank you thank you thank you